This activity is about exploring internet working devices. We will be learning about ide uh, identifying physical characteristics of internet working devices. And also, we will be uh, customizing those uh, internet working devices and they then check their connectivity. All right. So here, as you can see on the screen, we have a bunch of uh, internet ring devices, some machines, some switches, some routers, and a couple of uh, uh, PCs. So we're gonna we're gonna look into the you know the physical layout of those internet ring devices in this uh, activity. So let's let's click on uh, the east router. All right, and the physical tab is we are on the physical tab. And if I if I zoom in, I can I can basically look into the physical uh, device view, how the device basically looks, uh, you know, uh, if I want to see, you know, the, the number of ports and what type of ports the device has, and also the ma the, the management uh, ports and some other um, some other uh, slots that are available on the device. So this is this is a view, a physical view of a Cisco uh, router. And we can also click on these uh, modules and it shows you, you know, the uh, the description about what this module is about. And we can also add the modules over here in the in the expansion slots over here on the Cisco router. Um, if we want to basically enhance or extend uh, the feature of a, of a particular router. All right. So if I go to the CLI tab. And I enter the, you know, the show, uh, show IP interface brief. It shows me, you know, the uh, the list of interfaces that this router has: two gigabit inter interfaces and two serial ports and one software port, which is VLAN. Similarly, I can I can basically you know look into the details of a particular interface. So let's say if I want to see the gigabit interface, so I will write show interface uh, gigabit Ethernet um, zero slash zero, and it will show me the you know the detail and the and you know the 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 properties of this interface, the bandwidth that it supports, and all the other things. Similarly, I can do this with the serial interface. So now we can we can basically add uh, modules uh, and depending upon our own uh, criteria, so we can add the modules. So so what if what if I uh, you know I want this you know the PC uh, one two three to connect to the east router. So I need I need an, you know some some slots in this in this uh, router. So what I can do is I can add a you know a a, a slot like this module. This one, if I click on this one, it says it's a basically an HWIC 4ESW provides four switching ports. So I can basically add the four switching ports in this in my in my router and then, you know, connect those PCs together. So this basically, you know, expand the capabilities of my router. So if I if I select this one and I drag it over to the, you know, to the physical device view, I cannot I cannot just drop it here. Oh, so I can drop it here. But if I drop it, notice the message cannot add a module when the power is on. So I need to power off the router before I can, you know, add or extend any 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 feature of a router. So here is this power button. I click on it. And it's off. So, and now I can drag it and put it over here. Oh, so it's just not. So now it's off. I can drag it and put it over here. So, so as you can see now, um, I have successfully enhance the you know the feature capability of, of of the router and i can do the same thing so so what if i go to cli oh now i need to power on the device so here i go i powered on the device i go back over here now the the, the system the the router is basically you know uh, uh, booting up so it has successfully boot up so now i i will just you know enter show ip interface brief so now i have added these four slots fast ethernet 010 011 012 and 013 all right and i can do the same thing with other uh, switches like switch 2 and switch 3 because if i want to connect these pieces to the switches so i can do that 
like if I go to switch 2 so if I click over here this, so it has already some uh, this is a physical view I can add some as you know some more duels into this switch all right so you can also connect the devices now uh, well you know you can also you know add the modules over here switch 2 switch 3 and then in the west router but you know uh, you can do it on your own so I'm, I just want to show you how you can connect these PCs to the to the east router so for that you need a you know a cable like this one and you need a copper straight through cable you're going to connect this PC 1 the fast ethernet 0 with this east router and notice we have all those you know uh, the fast ethernet switch ports so here we go I'm gonna you know select this one with this one zero one zero and I can do the same with you know the other PCs I have fast ethernet zero and zero one one and PC three zero and zero one two so and I can do the same thing you know with other with other internet working devices so this is just to you know give you the idea how you can connect multiple devices together and how you can extend uh, uh, the capability of an internet working uh, device.